Hello friends, this is Ritesh from RitesHRitesh.com and uh, I'm back with my new article and this time I have written on experiential retail. Uh, last week I attended a, a seminar which is a retail forum uh, called uh, organized by uh, Images uh, Magazine, Retail Magazine in Middle East and it was called as Middle East Retail Forum and uh, wherein I uh, observed the most trending topic during the whole two-day conference was something about experiential retail. Hence, I thought it's important for me uh, to uh, write about experiential retail for, for the benefit of my readers of my blog retailrithesh.com and uh, I came up with two case studies. Uh, two case studies which is a startup started by uh, entrepreneurs one in uh, United States of America and one within our region from uh, Middle East with that is uh, United Arab Emirates and one of the brands from United States and uh, in uh, it's called Museum of Ice Cream I have compared uh, Museum of Ice Cream with another upcoming uh, brand from Middle East called Project Chaiwala. One important uh, perspective which I have noticed uh, from both the brands is uh, from rather both the entrepreneurs after interacting with them is uh, both have started with a pain point. The pain point which is which they could relate to themselves both of them observed the gap in the market wherein they wanted to engage people they wanted to uh, bring uh, creative minds together in a place where they could interact and what could be better than uh, products like ice cream and uh, a tea which we Indians call as chai which brings happiness uh, amongst the consumers hence both the concept are experiential in nature they are using the traditional way of uh, engaging the customers mind you they are not advertising they are not spending huge dollars in media or social media it's all organic evolution uh, evolution that's happening with both the brands and they have been uh, growing quite rapidly so I would request uh, my readers, my followers of my blog to please check out this article uh, which is on experiential retail about on my blog and one of the key learnings or a key tips that would I would like to give it to upcoming entrepreneurs is to start a business with the pain point of their own. Uh, what I mean to say is whatever the pain an entrepreneur is going through it's better to convert it through a business solution. The business can only sustain if it is solving a problem, a pain of the masses. If you are considering, if you are suffering a particular pain point or if you are observing a particular gap in the market, it would be much more advantageous for your startup to fulfill that gap with a solution. Be a solution provider to your masses don't depend upon venture capitalist or VC funding to fund your idea VC capital I normally call it as a vapor capital the sooner it comes it sooner it goes out also so it evaporates so built in your own business with your own uh, I would prefer with your own uh, startup capital and scale it organically don't be in a rush. If it's an idea which requires three years gestation period, so be it. So you require to build up. You have to sustain it. Your business is all about patience. That's my learning of almost two decades in retail. It's all about patience and sustenance. So please uh, read out my article on exponential retail. I have given few tips for upcoming uh, entrepreneurs which they can read it and get benefit and I wish you all the best and uh, I wish all my Indian followers and readers all across uh, happy Diwali as well thank you